Hi, welcome back to Cadable. Today we will do a very simple spare gear animation in SolidWorks. First, we will assemble these gears from SolidWorks toolbox and then we will make a simple animation in SolidWorks. Then we will transport these animations into Keyshot using a Keyshot plugin and we will make animation in Keyshot as well. So let's start the tutorial. Just go to new and select assembly and press OK. I will not import anything so press cancel it and now we will go to units and select IPS and then we will change background to paint white and now we will start sketching from the front plane. We will sketch uh, two reference circles for, uh, for our assembly that will help uh, us in assembling the gears. We will use uh, tangent and uh, equal mate. We will use another mate that is uh, horizontal, uh, both circles are in, uh, in line and I is 5 inch and now press escape to exit. We will go to design library and uh, we will choose spur gears. Uh, these settings are uh, already done. I have already made this. So I will not change these settings. We will use uh, as it is. Press OK. Uh, it will give you another and another so press uh, cancel uh, i need only two and now we will do some basic mates uh, coincident and concentric that is a coincident mate and that's why uh, i draw uh, two reference circles and now i'll use uh, another uh, co uh, concentric mate for the second spur gear and I'll use uh, a coincident mate so both spur gears are uh, in line and now these are in line now I have to match these teeth so just uh, I think these are now aligned and uh, I'll go to move tool uh, it's a very important uh, physical dynamics tool uh, just selecting uh, both gears and uh, i can drag these so uh, it shows uh, it shows that uh, they are perfectly aligned and uh, i can make these spike gears using uh, uh, gear mate go to mechanical mates go to gear mate and uh, I'll choose uh, uh, I'll choose both spur gears and uh, it will calculate the animation and uh, yes as you can see these are perfectly aligned and uh, this animation is working just press cancel it and uh, I'll hide the reference sketches just uh, rotating our assembly and uh, just uh, giving a perspective view and now I'll go to motion study and uh, I'll do a very simple uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, motion uh, analysis to this assembly and then we'll export uh, this assembly in uh, Keyshot as well so first of all i have to choose a motor just selecting uh, yeah. i think it is already selected so we'll go to motor and uh, i'll choose uh, its center part with uh, 10 rpm and uh, just playing the animation and i think it is fine it is fine so we'll export it in keyshot Uh, Keyshot will take some time to open. Just rotating our assembly in Keyshot. And uh, first of all, I have to apply uh, material to our assembly. And uh, I think uh, we should go to uh, some, uh, some polished. Uh, some polished uh, 
मेटल आई थिंक वी शुड गो टू सम एनोडाइज एनोडाइज मेटल एनोडाइज मटेरियल विद सम पॉलिश्ड सम पॉलिश्ड टेक्सचर यू कैन अप्लाई एनी मटेरियल यू वॉन्ट की शॉर्ट प्रोवाइड्स लॉट ऑफ स्टफ जस्ट checking which one suits more i think this is fine and uh, i'm choosing the 12 frames per second and i'm uh, just uh, checking the assembly uh, just checking the animation and it is working uh, very fine uh, these are some uh, basic settings lighting environments uh, material colors and uh, I'm just uh, checking those. Uh, I'm using a twelve eighty by seven twenty p, and we are done with this. I think uh, now we are done with this, and now uh, I'll go to. perspective uh, i'm checking uh, more uh, realistic uh, realistic view i think uh, this is just fine this is just fine just uh, rotating our assembly uh, for a better view and now uh, uh, i'm not going to the details of uh, this For example, there are many colors you can apply. Uh, you can apply colors on different materials as well. I think it is fine. I'm not uh, going to apply any texture, environment, or color. These are fine. And now I'll go to render. And uh, I have to render the uh, animation which I have uh, exported from SolidWorks. I will go. Uh, I'll go to Cadable and. Uh, I'll save this animation uh, from there, uh, uh, from that folder. Uh, I'll not require frames output. Uh, I'm just uh, checking it. Uh, I'll go to output, and uh, I think sixty-four samples are fine, and uh, it will calculate the rendering time. it takes a lot of time uh, as you can see there are 121 frames i think we are uh, almost done uh, and finally we are done with this animation so just uh, press okay so all frames are uh, added to uh, to make our video and uh, we are done with this uh, animation in key shot as well so uh, thanks for watching and if you have uh, any question uh, regarding this uh, uh, regarding this animation uh, you can ask in the comment section uh, thanks for watching and uh, please uh, subscribe to our channel uh, for more videos thank you